How's it going everyone? So first and foremost, I hope that everyone is staying healthy and safe during these fairly uncertain times. I know it's been pretty crazy. We don't know when this is going to blow over, but nonetheless, from a Texas standpoint, things were looking good. Businesses, bars even were opening up and now they're shutting it all back down because our coronavirus numbers are going back up. So, and pretty rapidly at that. So I apologize for the little bit of disruption to our normal, um, rate of videos that we upload on the Form R Ranch YouTube channel, but I'm hoping things kind of get back to normal. I've been trying to avoid being around my grandparents, which are the ones who actually reside at the land that I film a lot of these videos at. So just for their consideration, I've been trying to limit my exposure around them in case I happen to be carrying something that would be putting them at risk. But on the note of my grandparents, I did happen to stumble across some interesting footage that I thought would be kind of a lighthearted video that I might as well upload since I have the footage and I haven't really been able to film in the normal fashion that I normally do. So now, my grandparents recently moved out of a house and in that house, one of the last items that was left was a gun locker that had an unknown number of guns and unknown make and models inside. At least to me, it was entirely unknown. I wasn't quite certain what I would find in there. However, the catch was that they had lost the key and this gun locker had not been open for about a dozen years. It was just sitting there in a coat closet underneath the staircase before they moved out. It was literally the last item in the house and I figured by the time I paid to have a locksmith come open this locker and then possibly create another key for them to use and it was one of those complicated circle locks so it wasn't something that I could easily pick. Trust me, I tried. I even ordered some kits. I ultimately decided to just break into the darn thing and this is some footage of what I found inside and of course I had to take these guns out for a spin and make sure they worked, right? That's the responsibility I owe to my grandparents to take their guns out and uh, have a little bit of fun with them. So nonetheless, I hope everyone's staying healthy and safe and enjoy some of this just, like I said, lighthearted plinking footage and my reaction when I broke into their gun locker. Did you help call? Oh, nah, he said, he said he's good. Just because there's no way we can get one back. That's why you're supposed to anchor these to the floor. It's not a real gun safe. Oh. So that people can't just do this. <laughs> just get her wearing. Alright. All right, All right guys, so this is my grandfather's gun safe that's been left in this house. It's probably been at least a dozen years since it's even been opened. They're moving out of the house and nobody knows where the keys are. I hope it's the balloons. Oh Will man, that's actually a pretty big locking bar though. That's really big. It's like two inches wide. Well, at least that's the part you can grind if you have to. Okay, so if there's a bunch of ammo in there, you might want to be wet careful with the welding torch. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get a, a locksmith, I guess. If Wayne comes back with your crowbar, we'll have a let us go. There we go. A real crowbar right there. That'll do it. I have one even larger, but... Uh, it, uh, this one we got clearance to get in there. Let's still give me the leverage. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm like scared. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice rifle. That's nice a shotgun, too. Yeah. Some out of 30 out 6 I'd never seen. Okay. What's that? Think about the pistol orders there. Let's see what we got. Make sure these aren't loaded. 1911. Not off to a bad start. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's what you have, right, guy? Mm -hmm. uh, clear there. What are you gonna do with all these guys? Having their own arsenal. Yeah. Yeah. How they move into the house? No. Well, he doesn't. Need, he was in huh. your police office area. Yeah. Got all these guns. Dibs on that shotgun. Wait, you got <laughs> these guns from the military? Shotgun on the shotgun. He bought it. Oh, oh, that's a nice revolver. That's good. That's, that's cool. Smith and Wesson. Yeah. 
It's a 357 Smith & Wesson. Mm -hmm. That is nice. Yeah, so some value there. Yeah. Okay. This is, uh, looks like a Remington 1100. Beastie left no, him on 1187. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is Kyle's dream. <laughs> you know, he's been dreaming about this since he first saw the, the safe. Alright, so this is a, I'm not sure, but it's a semi auto 30 out 6 Remington model 7400. Is that cool? Yeah, it's pretty nice. He yeah. has expensive taste, yeah, just like you. Like, I like he's consistent with the style, too, here. I don't know anything was, about guns. Kyle? <laughs> and he was trying to teach me, and I said... I know. I said, I'll probably shoot myself, <laughs> Instead of someone else? Yeah. Because you can cheat and then die. Yeah. It's a lever action. Oh. It's like a 410. Oh. Damn, Grandpa had a I know, Grandpa I don't was like... I don't know like for it because he didn't hunt. <laughs> it's an 870 and 410. That's pretty cool. Is it rare? Is it rare, Kyle? Uh, I haven't seen a 410 and 870. Epic. I mean, but, you know, more into the tactical stuff. Wait, how many guns are here? So, it's like know, six, six guns. Yeah. That's all this ammo. So this is a... One free turn. Yeah. 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 Kind of a lever action. It's empty. Yeah. Dude, that lever action is dope. That's really cool. Uh, I'm not even sure how to decock it. There we go. Yeah. Alright, so 30 30. So, total of uh, two rifles. Two, two, yeah, two shotguns, two rifles, two handguns. Yeah. <laughs> no money? That's what I no was. money. <laughs> there you have it, guys. That's what was in my grandfather's safe. Semi-automatic, 30 out 6, and this is the Remington model 7400. I'm kind of curious to see, since it is gas operated, what the vehicle is going to be like. That action is just stupid long. Woo, all right. Hopefully not too bad. Smith and Watson. Guys, so super sorry about the wind. We were just out here having fun. I thought it'd be an interesting video to show you what guns I stumbled across in my grandfather's gun safe. So we're out here just planking. Got super windy. I do apologize. So as always, thanks for taking the time to stop by the Formar Ranch YouTube channel and have a good one.